tactical solution for the for the rotating dome. It has a little thing to do keep keep the keep the dome in front of the scope. It has to do it all the time. So, uh, the, the trivial strategic solution is just to open it when the night starts and close it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then, of course the benefit you get and, and this is nice particularly for I think for new astronomers is that you have uh, situational awareness. In a conventional dome, you know, your software might point something over oh. here, and you go, well, where is that? You know, you, you can't see any of the stars around, you can't see, you can't see where you are in, in, in you know, yeah. And, and then, of course, the other thing is you just can enjoy the night sky. So, uh, basically maintenance, zero, uh, low maintenance, uh, low cost of operation. Nothing to worry about for the life of the dome. Buy it, forget about it, you're not maintaining the dome for the rest of the year. And these are the things that are provide cost effectiveness. I mean, our dome is more expensive than others, but uh, what you're buying is peace of mind. A seven foot dome is too small for a hatch. The 12 foot dome and larger, you can order a hatch in the side. You can mount these on a structure. You're coming up from a you can mount them on a structure, and if you're mounting from below, you don't need the, the access hatch. Uh, a lot of people like to mount them on something anyway, so you get above the, the boundary layer, the bugs and the dust and things like yeah. that. So that's that's the best approach for a seven is to is to mount it on something and go in and come below. We have a, a five shutter configuration now. Now the dome itself is only 63 inches, so you have to be aware that we're quoting it to a customer that the rings are optional. We have some drawings that show the ring attached, just because that's the way it normally sells. 